day, everything from how we live, work, eat, sleep, shop, to how we play, relies on mathematics. Our desktop computers, our mobile phones, TV, transport, any household appliance, even street lights, anything that uses an electrical circuit relies on a concept known as Boolean logic. There isn't a piece of technology on today's planet operating without the application of Boolean logic. The grand designer of this elegantly simple but radical idea is perhaps one of the world's greatest unsung heroes. Is George Ball important? Well, no George Ball, no Google, no Amazon, no Intel. We could go on. That makes him pretty important. Bulls is the father of modern information technology. He was one of the first people to propose that the way we think is by using logic. I think the problems he was looking at were human problems, how people live and work and think, and then try to reduce that into simple rules and simple constructs. He would even apply this approach to man's oldest question. If the world works according to fixed or given laws, and if the human mind is part of the world, you can not only understand the world, but you can understand the mind of God. Nearly 200 years ago, George Boole made a revolutionary discovery. And the consequence of that discovery continues to change our world today. Building on Boole's legacy at Cork, Dr. Emmanuel Pellucci is part of a worldwide team trying to make the leap into the next technological era with an advanced branch of science known as quantum computing. Boole is very important for our work because he is the person who started the mathematical tools which allow to design circuits. It's quite impressive, I would say. The reason me and all the people here working here is because a guy in the mid of the 19th century formally tried to work on something which was of interest to a small number of academics. And then something like 80 years later, uh, it became a mainstream technology. And that is actually an extraordinary thing. To some extent, Bull is significantly less known than other scientific heroes, it's just not very clear how important Bull's legacy has been, and maybe it's our job to make it more clear and advertise it. George Bull's legacy is pretty important to anyone who regards the digital world as being fundamental to the way in which they operate. Without George Bull, life would be very different for pretty well all of us. The landing gear um, has been moved inside, so we are sitting on the surface. Fila is talking to us. More data to come. In 2014, the European Space Agency successfully landed a probe on a comet in the X quadrant. The comet will reveal new and vital research about the birth of our solar system. Not only has Boole's work in mathematics played a critical part in getting the probe to the comet, but also in how we receive the data across 500 million kilometers of space. Funnily enough, the pictures they send back to Earth, they're not pictures at all. They're just endless streams of Boolean ones and zeros. When they get back to Earth, they are then translated into pictures, but they're essentially strings of Boolean ones and zeros that we're getting from outer space. Bool argued that almost every value or question could be reduced to either true or false. A simplification of our world as a basic statement. Who looked at what he called bipolarity in, in binary terms. You have north and south, you have east and west, you have male and female, you have up and down, you have in and out. Just, we have two states of things. And that seems to be the basis of everything he did. If you have just one state, 
you'll never get off the ground. There's up to no, and if you have 10 states, like we have 10 fingers, then that's too complicated. You get sort of too many symbols to work with. And a computer or any other electronic device has two states, basically on or off. A circuit is switched on or switched off. And the one for on and the zero for off. And everything is just simple combinations of those.